guys, welcome to another digital marketing lesson with Bitmark. In this video, we're going to share with you our AdWords ad copy tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write effective PPC ad copy. During the duration of the video, I'm going to show you my own list of ad copy tips. And if you follow these tips, you'll be writing killer ad copy in no time. The first part of the video is going to look at the anatomy of AdWords ad copy. We're going to break down the ads into different elements. As we work through the video, I'm going to share you with, with you my tips on writing killer ad copy. Then we're also going to have a look at some live examples on how to update and improve ad copy based on the tips provided. And finally, for each tip, I'm going to show you a real life examples of ads on Google which follow these tips. Firstly, we're going to have a look at the anatomy of the ad copy. A Google search ad is made up of many components that all come together to create the Google ads that you see in front of you here. So firstly, we have the headlines. With Google Ads, you have the ability to write three separate headlines. Headline one, headline two, headline three. Next, there is descriptions. These are here, these are called the ad descriptions, and there is two description lines. This is the first line here, and this is the second line here. Finally, to make up the Google Ad, there is what's called path one, which is here, and path two, which is there. Path one being advertising, path two being agency in this example. They are the, they are the core components of a Google ad. Headline one, two, and three. Description line one and two. Path one and path two. At a minimum, you will need to create an ad that has all these features. However, with AdWords, you are able to also add what are known ad extensions. And these come in many different forms. In this example here, we can see call-out extensions, award-winning agency, digital social experts, certified sales coaches. We also have what's called structured snippets, which are web design, paid advertising, inbound marketing. We also have the location extension, which is the New York office here. We also have a call extension, which displays their phone number. And we also have what are called site links. These are the links to other pages on the website that can be shown underneath the main ad which help with navigating users to relevant landing pages. I would recommend using both the core components of the headline, the descriptions, path one and path two, and combining them with your ad extensions such as call outs, call extensions, site links, and address extensions to make sure that your ad stands out more. For example, if this ad was just two lines long, it would stand out, it would look quite good, but it looks a lot better when it has all the ad extensions showing as it's, it takes up a lot more space on the Google search result. Ads that take up more space have a better click-through rate. And ads that look like this generally look more professional, which will help build trust and generate a higher conversion rate from your traffic. Okay, on to the PPC ad copy tips. So the first one for me is to focus on your headlines. The headline is the most important element of the ad copy and a couple of famous quotes to back this up are as follows. If you haven't done some selling in your headline, you have wasted 80% of your client's money. The headline is the ticket on the meat, i.e. if you're selling a remedy for bladder weakness, display the words bladder weakness in your ad. If you want mothers to click your ad, display mothers in your headline. So the action here is to go through all of the ad groups in your account and look at your ad copy to check whether you're seeing the keyword in the headline. Now we're going to take this ad copy example and we're going to look at how we can improve it based on the keyword being searched. So if the keyword being searched is health and well-being classes, based on our ad copy tips we want to make sure that that keyword is being used in the headline. So for example, to write effective ad copy, I would make sure that health and well-being classes is displayed in the first headline. There we go. And based on that keyword being searched, we have in theory just improved our ad copy by including the keyword that they are searching for in the headline. A live example of this can be seen by jdsports.co.uk. When searching the keyword by Nike Trainers, they have that keyword by Nike Trainers in, in their headline. 
with a full headline actually saying buy neck trainers at JD Sports. Another ad copy recommendation is to use call to actions. Call to actions are keywords like shop, sign up, discover, try, watch and start. They are directly telling the customers what they should do next, which is what you want. You want to be really specific with the action words you choose and the instructions that follow them. So I recommend that you go through all of your ad groups and ads and look to see whether they are using call to actions. If not, I would suggest pausing ads that don't have call to actions in them and rewriting those ads to include call to actions as we will do now. So here you will see our ad copy example again for health and wellbeing classes. So as mentioned, we want to make sure that the keyword is being used in the headline. And we now also want to include a call to action. So this is for health and wellbeing class. So our call to action should be book now, inquire now, find out more, join our classes, to name a few. The call to action, there's two places that I'd recommend placing the call to action. In the headline and also in the description lines. So the first call to action we're going to place is here. Join a class today. And then secondly, I w we've got another one here. Call our team to arrange a booking and change your life today. So we've got two call to actions there. Now a live example of this is here. When I search the keyword book a holiday, you'll see that the ad copy here has book your holiday now. And then also further down, book online now. So there's two call to actions here. One in the headline and one in the description. So I'd always recommend that the ad copy has call to actions both in headlines and in descriptions. So another recommendation that I would suggest using is to look at introducing buzzwords into your ad copy. Buzzwords are words such as you, results, health, guaranteed. So you is the most powerful word in the advertising for a reason. Speaking directly to the customer is a strong way to make your ad copy stand out. Results also is a powerful word because it's a promise that helps the customer rationalise the purchase. Health is a word that is used lots these days, and it's not just we're talking about physical health. Perhaps the most commonly used variation is improve your financial health. And guaranteed, guarantees and promises is a way of removing any doubt. In advertising, a guarantee is a promise made by a corporation to a consumer, and it's viewed as a commitment, such as money back guarantees. So I'd recommend going through all your ads in your ad groups and check to see if they're using these buzz keywords. Now let's have a look at a live example of that. So just to recap again, we want to use health and well-being classes in our headline. We can start to see this ad being improved now on the, on the slides. Health and well-being classes, um, book a class today. And we've got words like you here, you will love our wellness clinic. Perhaps we can improve that to classes, to you will love our health and well-being classes, leave healthier than when you found us with our tailored wellness plans. And here we've got call our team to to arrange a, call our team to arrange a booking and change your life today. So we've got these buzz keywords in here and healthier. Now a live example of this is going back to the book a holiday example here. We've got parents on holidays you'll love, lowest price promise. So here we've got those guarantees and those promises to customers and we're speaking directly to them with words like you'll, cheap holidays you'll love in the headline. That's a good example of using buzz keywords in the ad copy. Okay, next one is don't use negative language in ad copy. Be positive and not negative. So instead of saying, our salt contains no arsenic, 
say healthy salt instead. Be factual and correct and be friendly and memorable. So let's have a look at um, some, some live examples of this now. So here where it says reduce stress, that is negative language. But we, we would recommend changing this to improve well-being. With our proven step-by-step health and wellness plans. Call our team to arrange and booking and change your life today. So let's just take this example here that we're using. Yep. A live example of this um, is book your holiday today, so using the words you'll love. I thought it was a good example there. Easy and flexible. Right, another example is to make use of the character limits in your ad copy. Don't use unnecessary words or characters for its own sake, but make sure that you take full advantage of the 30 character limit in your PPC ad headlines. Be as descriptive as you can and make sure the ads outline exactly what the user can expect when they click on them. So looking at our ad copy here, it makes use of all the character limits available. It's not too short and it's not too long. And the reason for that being that the more character limits you use, the larger your ads are. And an ad is like a billboard on Google Street. The larger the billboard, the more it will stand out. The smaller the billboard, the less it will stand out. So here's an example for the keywords, Yankee Candle UK Sale. As you'll see here, this ad at the top and this ad below make use of the character limit. Now this ad further down, you can only see one line of ad text there. And as a result, it looks much smaller and it doesn't stand out near as much as the, the ads above. Hence why we recommend that you make use of the character limit. Now another good tip when you wanted to write effective ad copy or looking for ad copy ideas is to have a look at the organic listings headlines especially the listing that is in number one. So go and have a look at what the organic listings say on keywords you're writing ads for. And the reason for this being that the organic listing at the top will have a good click-through rate. And if it's got a good click-through rate, it normally suggests that its headline and its description are quite strong. So let's, I'd recommend going through and looking at competitive ads and looking at competitor organic listings um, and steal some examples that you like the sound of. So here's an example of the organic listings for the keywords buy coffee beans. If you're looking to write effective ad copy for the same keyword, using things like buy coffee beans online, specialty coffee roasters. You can now buy some of the finest coffee beans from around the world, order superb coffee blends from the UK coffee shop, free delivery on orders over 25, buy fresh roasted coffee beans online. You can buy coffee beans, coffee machines, espresso machines and more. All of these would be also good for AdWords ad copy. So the next tip is to use text from the website or use text from your own website. If you are writing ad copy, it's always good to create a consistent tone of voice. That means that the, the language and the words that you use in your ad copy wants to match up with the language and the words that you use on your website. So assuming that you already have a website, when it comes around to writing AdWords, adverts you can use some of the text from your website so go away and have a look at your website and use some of the text up from your website in your ad copy so for example if if we were building a bid mark campaign and we had the keyword digital marketing agency I'd go through to my website and I'd, I'd have a look at the keywords on my website to do with digital marketing agency for example on our homepage header we have this line here we're a digital marketing agency in Leeds that combines our digital marketing knowledge with the experience of working with businesses across many different sectors. That there could be used for my AdWords adverts. And the, good, the, the reason why that's a good thing to do is because one, it's e you've already got the text there, you've already written that text. It should be good because that's the reason why you've got it on your website. And finally, it's that consistent messaging from ad copy to website, which actually helps deliver better results overall. Another 
I'd copy tip is to create urgency with power words such as while stock last, places are limited, limited time only, in high demand. So if we have a look at our live ad copy example again with the keyword health and wellbeing classes. Now what we could use for this one is limited spaces in each of the classes. So let's have a look. So improve wellbeing with our proven step by step health and well well being wellness plans spaces are limited. Now I need to look at the character limit here, that's probably a little bit too long, so I'll just scale that back to improve well-being with our our with our health and well-being health and wellness classes. Spaces are limited. Call our team to arrange a booking and change your life today. Call our team to book a class and change your life today. Now, uh, an example of this is when searching for buy coffee online. You'll see this here, do not miss out. Um, so that's a way of creating agency. Um, you know, you don't want to miss out on that. It won't be here for long. Um, that'll hurry people along to make their purchase. So with AdWords, it is possible to dynamically insert keywords that people are searching for into your ad copy if it matches a keyword in your account. That's called keyword insertion. It's a little bit difficult to explain, but I will show you now in a live example which should hopefully help you understand it more. So when it comes to writing ad copy, if you use the squiggly bracket and then keyword with a capital W, and then create your ad copy like this. This is called a keyword insertion ad. What that means is, for example now, if I have several keywords in the account such as health and wellbeing classes, health and wellbeing class, health and wellbeing lesson. So for example, if I have these three keywords in the account, what will happen now is if somebody searches for health and wellbeing classes, the ad will, will insert that in, into the headline one. So it'll say health and wellbeing classes. If they search health and wellbeing class, the ad will say health and wellbeing class. If they search health and wellbeing lesson, the ad will say health and wellbeing lesson. So long as I have those keywords in the account. If somebody search, if you have a phrase match type keyword for health and wellbeing lesson, and somebody searches where can I book a health and wellbeing lesson, it won't insert that into the headline. It will only insert the keyword that you have in the account which in this example is health and wellbeing lesson. So as you can imagine, that's a very strong way to improve the click-through rate of your ad copy if the keyword that people are searching for is actually shown in the headline. So I recommend looking into that as a, as a way to optimize your ad copy. So for example, this is what it could look like, look like on the front end. If somebody is searching for Astrolite, it will insert Astrolite into the ad copy. So the ad is always relevant to the, to the user. Okay, so this is probably one of the easiest tips to rem remember and it's one that I don't see being applied all the time and that is to use title case in your ad copy. The title case is when the first letter of every word is... So title case is when the first letter of every word is a capital. When you, when you use this technique, the ad copy stands out more. So, if we take our live example here, you will see that the titles um, are all title case, but the description is not. So I recommend you go through all of your current ads and have a look to see the title case, and if not, let's make them title case. So this is quite simply going through, updating them like so. So as you can see here, this line is standing out more than that line, which is not title case. 
I think you'll agree. Let's do this for the second one. There we go. So this ad is now a title case, and as a result it will stand up more on the search results page of Google and it will get a better click through rate because of that. Again, another, another example here of an ad which is in title case. You see many ads on Google search results in title case, and the reason for that is because it works. Right, the final tip is to create unique keyword which path ones and path twos so as always I recommend going through your ad copy and ensuring that you're using path one keywords in all ad groups at a minimum and if possible using path one and path two so if we take our example here of an ad copy on the keyword health and well-being classes so if we take our ad copy example here for an advert being shown on health and well-being classes keyword you'll see that the path one is currently wellness plans so if it was me a way that I'd improve this is to use both path one and path two and what I would do is put classes here forward slash health and well-being An example of what this looks like on the front end is here with this display URL here. So the search term is Minimalites, which are by the brand Astro. So you see that the path one and path two says Astro forward slash minima. So a side benefit of this is when you have keywords in path one and path two, I find that it actually improves your keyword quality score due to a higher ad relevance and also a better expected click through rate. Okay, and that's my top 10 tips. So just to recap on what they are. So the first one is to focus on the headline. This is the most important element of your ad. Secondly, use call to actions. Thirdly, use buzz keywords. After this, try and avoid using negative language in the ad copy. Don't forget to make use of the character limit. Have a look at the organic listings headline and their descriptions also. Use text from your website and use the different types of advanced features available with ads such as keyword insertion being the main one. Don't forget to use title case and finally create unique keyword rich path ones and path twos. If you make sure that all the ad copy that you write ticks all these 10 boxes, I almost guarantee that your ad copy will be improved as a result. Let me know how you get on. And if you've got any further questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment and I'll try to respond where I can. Thank you.